You can tell that a video game controller is good when it's larger than the game console that you play it on. Introducing the Sega Genesis 6 button arcade stick, which is a good bit larger than the Sega Genesis Model 2. Just look at this thing. It's beefy, it's hefty, it's well constructed, it's got six huge buttons that sound like real arcade buttons. And they feel like real arcade buttons. It's turbo fire on this thing, as they call it, mega fire, speed control, switches in the middle of it. And my favorite feature of the arcade stick is the arcade joystick, which feels like a real arcade joystick, not some flimsy plastic piece of crap. My god, it's full of actual real arcade feel. Look at this thing, it's huge. This is what an arcade joystick should look like. Notice it's also tight, responsive. This is absolutely the perfect joystick. The six button arcade stick from Sega is very well designed. If you look on top here, you can choose between three button and six button layout. Start, mode, there's your mega fire. As I mentioned, the, button, the buttons feel like real arcade buttons. And they give you this nice little spot here that you can actually rest your hand in when you're playing the arcade stick. It goes without saying that the six button layout is ideal for fighting games like Street Fighter 2 which utilized six buttons and also benefited from an arcade joystick. It's also perfect for games like Air Diver which were like flight simulators so you could pull back and your plane would go up, push forward and it felt more like a flight stick. Shooting games like Twin Cobra feel more like real arcade games when you play them with this thing. My biggest complaint with any arcade joysticks is that they never quite feel like a real arcade stick because you can always move the actual joystick around. And on a real arcade machine, you know, you can't move the arcade machine, they're too heavy. Now the Sega 6 button arcade stick is pretty good at uh, eliminating this problem. For one thing, they give you a nice spot here that you can actually rest your hand on and weight it down a bit while you're playing and pushing the buttons. So it's, although it's not perfect, you can still move the unit around. I, I think it could have some more lead attached to it, uh, but you know, for manufacturing reasons, they probably couldn't do that. However, this thing is pretty stable, and when you put it on a coffee table, when you weight it down, it, it really does feel like an arcade joystick because of the size and the weight of the unit, and it's got rubber feet underneath it. The Sega 6-button arcade stick reminds me of another controller that I like a lot. The NES Advantage. Both of them have excellent arcade joysticks. And they're huge, so they're really well planted when you're playing them on a coffee table. Look at the size of these things compared to this Xbox 360 and PS3 controller. Which would you rather have? Well, I'm going to go with the Sega 6-button arcade stick and the NES Advantage although they don't work with the PS3 or the 360. Somebody needs to fix that. There's not much else that I can say about the Sega 6-button arcade stick, so we'll just play some music and, and remember the way things used to be back in the day. Mm -hmm.